All right, Mo. So look, the news just keeps rolling, bro. There's there's so much happening that me and you literally <laughs> cannot keep up. Show show everyone this this tweet from from Satya from Microsoft, and, let, and let's talk about it. All right. So you just told me about this. I didn't even know <laughs> about it. Uh, the metaverse is here, and it's not only transforming how we see the world, but how we participate in it. From the factory floor to the meeting room, take a look. So this was posted November second which was two days ago. Uh, and uh, should we just let's see? Let's roll it. Let's, let's dive roll in. It. And let's, let's watch it with everyone. And uh, live live react to it. Let's do it. Okay, let's uh, make this full screen for everybody here. And uh, let's uh, listen. As the digital and physical worlds come together, we are creating an entirely new platform layer, which is the metaverse. In a sense... The metaverse enables us to embed computing into the real world and to embed the okay. real world into computing. This is Tony Stark. Bringing right. real presence <laughs> to any digital space. <laughs> What's most important is that we are able to bring our humanity with us and choose how we want to experience this world and who we want to interact with. Okay, hang on. I'm going to pause real quick. What do you think he means we're going to bring our humanity to it? I don't actually know what he means, but I'm super intrigued to what he's gonna show us next. To be honest. Yeah, like I, I don't even know what that means. Like, how are you how are you gonna bring your human to the matter? I, I don't know. Whatever. Let's just keep going. It's no longer just looking at a camera view of a factory floor. You can be on the floor. It's no longer just video conferencing with colleagues. You can be with them in the same room. Okay. Uh, okay. I see. I see. You get it. Uh, I, I get it. <laughs> I mean, but like, but how is that going to work though? Like, don't you have the same physical space in two different places to see that? That that's what I'm curious that's about. That's what I'm curious about, and I'm also curious about like, are we now full time wearing headsets and things like that? The, yeah, because clearly they're promoting some sort of uh, like a VR headset. Yeah, VR like. headset. So, yeah. but it seems though as uh, I can be, you know, in Tokyo, and you can be, you know, in, in LA, and we're like. But we technically could be in the same room. In the same room. So how did how did I, that's what I'm curious about, how they are going to make that work. Let's 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 hear what you got today. Mesh for Microsoft Teams will allow you to connect with presence and have a shared immersive experience directly in Teams. We've also created an incredible immersive space that's now seamlessly accessible directly through Teams. Why don't we go check it out? Okay. Here we are, Jason, and your avatar looks awesome. Something that I really like is how freely you can move <laughs> around legs. and have face-to-face -face conversations. That's exactly right. We've held more than 100 team gatherings in these immersive spaces where people can connect, learn, and collaborate because they're truly <laughs> in the same place together. Pause the video. Yeah, I pause the video. <laughs> Why is there no legs? Please. Why? Why? Where's everybody's legs, man? I, hang on. I, I gotta make this <laughs> seriously. Microsoft, what are you doing? What the hell is everyone's just floating? <laughs> they for, they forgot to do the final render. The, bu the budget, the budget was just too much, bro. They couldn't render out the bottom half of the legs and the shoes. They said just cut it. <laughs> Maybe they're waiting on Nike to do the pants <laughs> to give them oh, the kicks. All right, I'm gonna give them benefit of the doubt. Let, you know, let's let's roll it. <laughs> okay, let's go back to this. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, let, let's just hear it. Game changer for onboarding. About 100,000 people a year. And like many organizations, onboarding has been remote for the past 18 months. So bringing our new hires into so this immersive environment fosters immediate and deeper connections. It transcends physical boundaries and helps individuals experience a culture in a very personal way. Our new hires meet many more people and grow their professional network okay. much faster. In IT, we're thrilled how easily we could unlock Mesh's capabilities through Teams. The integration with Microsoft 365 hmm. makes everything feel familiar. But on top of that, spatial audio makes everything sound just like it would in person. And I love seeing and hearing our colleagues collaborating and whiteboarding and using this space for productivity. It's actually kind of cool. This doesn't just feel real. It is real. It's been exciting to see an idea oh, become a reality in such a short time. Enabling presence That'll and connection fun to see. that transcends <laughs> location, keeps our culture vibrant yeah, that one, that, it wherever still needs we're some working, work. and levels the playing field to create equal and inclusive experiences. The metaverse... Hmm. It's not just transforming how we see the world. It's changing how all of us actively participate in it. 
And we can't wait to see what you build and how you bring people together All with right, this technology. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, talk yeah. This yeah, yeah, yeah. let's talk about this. Let's talk about this real quickly here. Yeah, let me just ask you know what's your what's your thoughts, bro? Okay, my thoughts is I don't feel like it was the same impact as Facebook's. Weirdly enough, I felt Facebook had more of a, I don't know more of a pulse of Definitely. of like what the metaverse could look like. I felt this is just like. <laughs> Have you ever played Roblo Roblox? Yeah. Yeah, it just felt like they're just building a video game yeah. where you can just be in the video game and then you're just controlling it. Like, I didn't quite understand, like, so you're playing ping pong in there, but are we physically moving our body? Yeah, like, are we up actually moving yeah, outside? Yeah, because it just looked like a video game. Yeah. It just looked like a video game that I can just, you know, grab a controller and move around. Be like, oh, hey, what's up, dude? Just like how, you know, any gamers out there would be, like, talking to your other gamer friend what do you what do you think about this it's it's interesting for sure definitely not the same impact as facebook but like we can't expect that from everyone but they also really just focused on one thing which is like i guess microsoft teams or whatever they're calling it um but they lost me when everyone's bottoms weren't there like honestly <laughs> I, I was i was out at that point it, just, it looks a little gimmicky but anyways look i think at the end of the day it's, be, it's good well it's, it's just another company joining the metaverse exactly and experiencing throwing money exactly research, so uh, well i think so yeah you're right they're doing almost like an integrated only microsoft only kind of metaverse yeah you know called mesh i guess but what i'm curious about is that like the metaverse is supposed to be where everybody can enter so like how how are we going to do that like is facebook gonna buy everyone <laughs> And then we all live on one it's gonna, metaverse yeah. monopoly. or uh, It's going to be interesting to see what happens, to be honest, and where everyone yeah. goes to. But I think the beauty of what it's being built is supposed to be decentralized. You know, yeah. we're, the, It's supposed to be owned by us. The people are supposed to own this. That's my thought. Yeah, I agree. But that's not usually how the world works. Someone, you know, some yeah. the, the big guys that want to own stuff. Yeah, well, I really hope it's not owned by one person <laughs> because it, this is for the people by the people in a way. And... Uh, it's interesting. We just uh, we're just documenting what's going on, I guess. Straight up. So I mean, look, look. Let's see what everyone thinks. You know, this is just one. I, I'm assuming, bro, by the end of the year, we're gonna be making ten to twenty more of these videos on different companies <laughs> and brands joining. So let us know what you all think. Comment down below as normal. Yeah. And, and, and let's let's see what Microsoft's yeah. actually gonna do in the next few months with this. Yeah. Who 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 you guys like more, Microsoft or Facebook, or or someone else, or none of the above. <laughs> oh, none of, yeah. Oh, you don't care. <laughs> All right. We'll get we'll catch you guys in the Peace. next video. Peace.